All right, what we've got here is the Canyon, Grand Canyon AL, which is, stands for Alloy SLX. And I've chosen to ride this one right after falling in love with the Canyon Exceed, which is the uh, like high-end level carbon bike. Uh, I did that for a reason and my first two bikes were also high-end carbon bikes that was BMC, Team Elite and, and uh, Trek Superfly and I must tell you that I'm feeling as awesome on this one on those single track uphills as on those bikes I was, I've been riding before Now, carbon has its advantages over aluminum it does make your ride a bit more smooth a bit more smooth and the frame will be lighter but believe me most of you perhaps even those to like mid-level of racing wouldn't even notice the, the difference as a matter of fact if i was to go blind with all four bikes i don't think i will feel the difference this one is the model equipped with the Shimano XT components so it's also quite light I'm gonna weigh it and measure it just in a moment uh, but I must tell you it is a nice aluminum bike and uh, I'm trying to spend as much time as possible with this one because I'm thinking about purchasing one Canyon Grand Canyon aluminum for our channel as a testing bike but not this one, this one is the SLX so that's the uh, the higher uh, frame set the more expensive, uh, lighter and with the through axle in the rear uh, the one I'm thinking about is like the base model uh, that frame set will be as stiff but just a bit more heavy and it won't have through axle in the rear which I would like to have but I think that there will be no huge difference in terms of the performance and in terms of uh, the price there will be a huge difference so guys Grand Canyon SLX rides really smoothly I'm gonna be doing some single tracks down the hill uh, maybe not that fast because all I care about now is the lens of my camera it's all muddy and just like uh, 10 minutes ago the storm went through this area so I'm all wet but the camera has to be clean but I must tell you it is a nice really nice alloy 29er so I'll see you in a second measuring and weighing the bike components wise I don't like the free hub of those DT Swiss wheels because uh, it's just too loud for myself it's too loud when you're not spinning the guys ahead of you will just hear that you're coming let's measure this aluminum boy and the storm is coming back so <laughs> I better hurry we have 44 centimeters of the uh, chain stays uh, we do have from the top of the head tube I'm not uh, counting the spacers to the axle there is some 63.5 or 64 centimeters uh, and then the chain line here would be chain on here my friends would be nice because this is two by so there is some 40 40 millimeters for the uh, little ring uh, so around 50 for the for the big one uh, it's working very nice uh, and we can now measure this one aha the wheelbase let's just see the wheelbase on the aluminum one it's uh, wow it's uh, quite long it's 115.5 so it's 115 centimeters and five millimeters something like that and how much does this um, aluminum frame set with XT components weigh let's just see Thirteen point thirteen thirteen point 
0.23 so let's say 13.2 with those 400 grams uh, pedals would be what around 12.8 uh, for this bike uh, I like the frame uh, it's really uh, shaped a lot so there is lots of uh, hydro forming here we've got tapered head tube we've got quite nicely routed uh, those um, housings here <laughs> but there is some problem with it I'm gonna show you that in a second the upper tube super stiff later laterally this connection here this joint is also just as wide as on the carbon bike bottom bracket looks pretty much like the aluminum bottom bracket it's not like super uh, fatty oversized bottom bracket uh, and that's pretty much uh, it the bike really does handle uh, well the stem on this one is um, 75 uh, mils and I feel quite okay uh, on this bicycle so I'm hoping that Grand Canyon AL non SLX without through axle in the rear will also just uh, handle as as fine as this one um, I don't have anything bad to say really uh, about this bike uh, this one thing I wanted to show is the internal ca cable routing when you are changing the gears you can hear something like Can you hear that? And that, this is not DI2 system. That means that the, the, the cable inside is like uh, in vibration. It's like hitting the, the top, the, the uh, down tube, making such noise for both uh, derailers, uh, front and rear. Uh, so I'm thinking how would that work uh, if I had to replace those housings and cables, is it done like nicely so that it will be easy or it will be pain? You never know it until you actually uh, do it. So guys, if you have further questions uh, about Canyon uh, AL SLX Grand, Grand Canyon, I like it. Uh, put those in the comment section. I can uh, go back, come back here uh, tomorrow. I'm here till Sunday. I don't know where, when I'm going to upload this video, maybe, maybe tonight. So anyway, um, let me know, uh, I'm going to try to answer those. Thanks for watching.